Hello everyone, this is Bhavna. We're going to do embroidery on postcards today. Uh, you can use any, any postcard, any old new postcards to embroider. You can use old photographs. You can use images that you find in magazines. The only thing you want to make sure is that the, the paper is thick uh, so that you're not tearing it as you're embroidering it. Um, embroidery is really a great way to embellish images uh, because you can add color, texture, uh, and kind of enhance the story of what's going on in the postcard or make up a new story. So I'm going to move my camera so you can see my work surface and we'll get started, okay? It's going to be upside down for you, so hopefully that's not a big problem. Uh, I have some postcards today. I have some black and whites, and I also have some colored postcards. Um, just use what you have at home and just play with some ideas. Uh, I have some just basic sewing thread, uh, some different colors. I have a pair of scissors. Uh, I also have some embroidery floss, which is uh, available uh, in any craft store. The embroidery floss has six different threads in the floss, so you want to be aware of those. Um, I also have a tool called as an awl, and an awl is uh, simply a sharp point, like a, you can use a needle if you don't have an awl. Uh, but it has a nice handle so you can make holes in the paper as you're embroidering. Um, I also have some double sticky tape and you can use really any tape. Um, this is just to keep uh, the embroidery from unraveling in the back. Um, and we're going to get started with some pink sewing thread that I have already put in my needle. Uh, of course you need needles, I forgot to say that. Uh, I've already put some pink thread, I have doubled it up and there is a knot at the end. Okay, So I'm going to grab a postcard that I haven't worked on yet, um, maybe this one. So, so there's a lot of different possibilities here, there's this open area around her head that we could embellish. Uh, she has a beautiful pattern on her blouse that could use some color. Um, and of course the flowers in the hair. Um, any area of the postcard is really open uh, for, for this exploration. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the area around her head and let's see what happens. Now embroidery is um, made up of a lot of different kind of stitches and especially to begin with I like to keep things simple and so we are going to assume that uh, you don't know any embroidery stitches basically you're going to go from one hole to another hole and just make a pattern okay so think about pattern and um, one thing to remember when you start embroidering uh, a paper surface, which is that once you make a hole with your needle or your awl, you're not going to be able to cover the hole um, and undo the hole, basically. So you're going to have to figure out how to reuse the hole if you don't really like what you did in the first place. It's not like fabric. Okay, so... Um, so just think about it a little bit and what I want to do with this postcard is I want to make some pink lines that will start kind of where her face is ending like this and I'm just going to radiate some lines around her face. Okay, so I'm going to start here. So with my awl I'm going to make a hole. don't know if you can see it but I'm going to make a hole so that I can, from the back of the card, I know where to put my needle. This is really important. And again, if you don't have an awl, just use a needle or you can use a safety pin. Uh, I think that would work. But you can't, you can't really see the image from the back. 
So you want the whole as your starting point to uh, figure out what you're gonna, where you're gonna go in. So you're gonna start. I'm gonna start here, and in a straight line, all you need is two points. And again, you can use your all to make a hole. And there, okay. Already like this wonderful splash of color on this black and white image. Now I want my second one to begin here and to end. Well, let's see. Not going to make too many holes to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to go in. Okay, and you can just lay the thread this way so you know where that hole has to go. So I'm going to put the hole here. So of course you can plan out your design in the beginning by doing some measuring, but you can also just use the thread to help you. And I'm going to start here. Now I want to end here in it. These straight lines really cover a lot of area pretty quickly and they give you a really great way to start without knowing anything about embroidery. All you need to know is how to put the needle, put the thread through the needle and that's all you need you can get started. So you can see how the radiating lines are starting to create a pattern. Now Okay, let's keep going. more. So once you have your thread on the right side of the image, you don't, maybe sometimes you don't need an awl, you just need to kind of push the needle through the paper gently and uh, not need to make the hole in the first place. But when you're going to be coming on from the wrong side of the card, you definitely need the awl to make the hole, okay? You see that? I'm not sure what would happen if you put one of these postcards in the mail. Um, when I want to mail these cards, I usually put them in an envelope and uh, put a regular forever stamp on it because I'm not sure what the post office thinks of these extra extra things on the card. It makes it a little, little bit more delicate uh, and um, you want to make sure that the card reaches the destination, so I usually put a stamp on an envelope and send it. Ok, 
Okay, so weird. Now see what's happening when you don't have a hole with the all. The card will bend as you're trying to put the needle through. So I sometimes I'm lazy about the all and it's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, see how the postcard changes quite a bit as you make the embellishment. Um, just really love texture and color and pattern. Think about those three things, texture, color, pattern, okay? And just use your, uh, use very simple lines to create to make that happen for you. So I think I'm done on this side and I'm also short of thread. So I'm going to end this thread and uh, I want to show you another postcard, okay? So on the back of the postcard, you have all these small loops. They're pretty tight. And all you want to do is go to the closest loop and I'm going to go to this loop even though this is closer because this is close to the edge of the card. So I'm going to go through this loop. You don't want to loosen the, the stitch. Okay. I'm going to go through the loop one more time. And then I'm going to make a little knot by going through this loop. And then I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to take a little piece of tape. Okay. See that? And I'm going to put it right on that knot. And you've get, you can also put it on this knot, but this knot is nice and big, so I don't need to do that. I just wanted to make sure this loose piece of, a little bit of a loose uh, loop doesn't loosen things in the front. Okay, so you can, you can continue I will continue later on this side but I also have all this room here to go between these pink lines with say a blue line or a black line and kind of fill up make it even more dense uh, just to see what happens um, so let's put this away and I'm going to show you another one that I have started already um, so this is another Frida Kahlo postcard. You see that she's a, wearing this beautiful shawl and she's sitting in a room. And I thought I would uh, make a plant for her and um, show you a little bit about the stitch. The stitch is not that different from the one we've already done, um, but I am using some embroidery floss um, here are the two threads of the embroidery floss. You can see that there's two. Okay, so I've separated them. I'm going to put them in my needle. And I'm going to double them, double it. So double the thread. So you have four threads okay, to embroider with. And I'm going to knot it. Now, I've already started, so you can't see how the beginning went, but uh, let's continue on this plant and you'll see my system. Okay, so I'm going to continue where the plant, where this branch is ending. So I want the plant to sort of go towards her, okay? So I'm going to make a hole, just push it through the hole, okay? Now I'm going to come back where I started. So I'm going to pull my needle back in this hole. And I want this to go 
towards her. So can you see how much thicker it is? Uh, because you have two threads, in, I mean you have four threads instead of two, okay? So you can really uh, change how the texture looks by changing the amount of thread. Now in this case, I'm, I'm making each stitch sort of the same size so that it feels like the plant branch has these little um, uh, marks that it, uh, you know, it can branch on another, another stem, okay? So I'm making the, each of these kind of stitches, I would say, the same size. And I kind of know where to start another side branch just by looking at the back and kind of trying to figure out okay I want a branch over here okay so you can see how the plant is growing and you can keep going by just coming to the right side of the card using the holes that are already there okay so you can go through each hole multiple times you see that so each hole has three branches coming out of it or some of the holes have three branches coming out of it and you don't have to have a new hole every time you have to put your needle through the hole, okay? So that's one thing that is different than the previous example. So I'm not hardly using the all at all in this case because I just want to make the plant pretty dense. You see that? Okay, so let's put that away. I want to show you one more. So you can see how they start to grow you know how the embroidery just starts to make the image even more uh, have even more of a story okay uh, i wanted to show you a stitch that's very popular uh, i'm seeing it a lot on postcards and old photographs it's called a uh, french knot okay so this is a drawing by uh, mc escher and um I have started uh, some French knots here, can you see? So I'm going to, I already have some thread left in the needle here. Uh, this again is embroidery floss and I have four strands because that makes the knot nice and, nice and thick, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of French knots. So you need an awl because you need to make a hole where you want the knot and you're going to take your needle and come to the right side of the image. Now a French knot and I encourage you guys to go on YouTube and open up another video on how to do a French knot because I'm not sure it's going to come out really great here. My hands are in the way. Uh, but what you do is you take your needle and you go kind of to right where it's coming out of the card and, and you are going to wind the thread around the needle three times, okay? So like so. Now you're gonna take the needle and you're gonna put it through the same hole that it came out of. See that? that. And Pull the needle way 
gently while, you, uh, while holding on to this loop so the loop doesn't twist. I'm going to pull the needle. This is the French knot. Okay, so let's do another one. And in this card, there's a little plant in this reflection of a, of a water drop, and I'm just trying to kind of give the plant a little, little color, okay? So, make a hole with your awl, twist three times, put the needle back through the hole. And I didn't hold on to the thread, so you just have to pull it a little. I think I made a little mistake. Because the knot is not... Um, the knot has a little loop here that it won't... Uh, it doesn't like, so I'm going to have to... Just pull this part of the thread in the back and see now you've gotten rid of that loop. But now you're going to have to take your tape. So that was a little mistake that you can cover up with tape. Um, just so. There. Looks okay in the front. And kind of pull the knots. And now we are out of thread, so we are going to take this loop and go through it one more time. Cut. And a little tape. Here we have our three postcards. I hope you had a good time. Um, and um, I hope you try it at home. Thank you. Bye.